Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on your iPhone 6. So you will need a uh, star point screwdriver and a suction cup. First you're going to have to remove the two screws at the bottom. Okay, now use the suction cup to pull up the screen. And use a ply tool to ply out the screen. Start out from each corner of the phone. Okay, now you can uh, gently lift it up. And the next step is to uh, remove the silver plate. There is a uh, six screw that you need to remove, and you have to use the uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay, the silver plate is out. Now you would want to uh, remove four connector. I'm gonna use the uh, flathead screwdriver to apply out the connector. Okay, as you can see the screen is separated from the phone. Now you need to remove those plate and the big plate you see there and the plate uh, that's holding the home button. So the rest of the screw is going to be removed with the uh, Phillips screwdriver as well. First we're going to remove the three screw on top. That's holding the front camera and the uh, speaker, the earpiece speaker. and you will need to remove the uh, ribbon cable use a flathead screwdriver be very careful because you don't want to tear the uh, ribbon and we got the ribbon out and the next step is to remove three screw on each side of the uh, screen so there will be a total of uh, three on each side Okay, so once you have the six screw removed from the side, you have three more additional screw at the bottom. Those screw are holding the uh, home button.
Now remove the silver plate and now as you can see I can gently lift up this big plate here but be careful because the uh, ribbon at the bottom is still attached to it so you first need to uh, unplug the uh, connector that's going to the home button and then you can remove the uh, home button by pushing it in toward you and use the uh, flat screwdriver to loosen the uh, ribbon cable and again be very careful because you don't want to tear up the ribbon cable okay we have the home button out and there you still see there's another ribbon cable attached to the uh, big plate you can do the same thing to it okay now I can completely remove the uh, big plate and now the next step is to put all the parts that you taken out from the old screen and put into your new screen okay so here I have the new screen here you first want to put back the uh, big plate first And the next thing you want to put back is the uh, home button. And make sure it is all in its spot. Plug the connector back to the home button. and now you can take the uh, plate that covering up the uh, home button and once you have the plate in its spot go ahead and proceed on uh, screwing the screw back to it And the next thing you want to do is screw the side. There will be three on each side. and the next thing you want to put back is the front camera and don't forget the uh, earpiece that's supposed to go in between the uh, front camera ribbon cable okay and once you have everything back to its uh, place you can go ahead and get the uh, plate to secure the uh, camera and the earpiece now get the three screw and screw the plate back in
and as you can see we have everything back to its place okay now we can take the screen and plug the connector back to uh, the motherboard and you can feel the plug if it's uh, back in you can feel it with your finger or you can also hear the click letting you know that the uh, connector is in its spot okay now let's take the plate and screw the uh, six screw back and all the screw is back in and the next step is to uh, push the screen down to the frame you have to start from the top okay and gently push it down you don't want to push uh, push it too hard and too fast because if you put too much pressure on it the screen will damage and there you go as you can see everything is back in its place now all you have to left to do is uh, screw back the two screw at the bottom so that is all it takes to replace your screen on the iPhone 6 I hope you guys find this really helpful okay now we're going to turn the phone back on so we can test the screen for one final time and then we'll be set there you go the phone is back on and everything seems normal okay guys that is it for today's video if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more future video to come